about getting started in fitness, but feeling frustrated about finding the right fitness equipment? Are you overwhelmed with how much fitness equipment costs or not able to find the right thing because the weights are either too heavy or too light for your current physical condition? Hi, my name is Jeanette DePatty, AKA The Fat Chick, and I'm a plus size certified fitness instructor who's helped hundreds of people of all ages, shapes, sizes, and abilities learn to love their bodies and love exercise again. Welcome to episode seven of the Right Now Show. You can find what you need to get started in fitness all around your house. It might be in the kitchen, bedroom, garage, anywhere. So what I have here are some cans. Uh, crushed pineapple, which we have crushed with our major muscles, you know? So you can do a lot of exercises with dumbbells just like this. You can do a bicep curl. You just lift and squeeze at the top and release. Squeeze at the top and release. Make sure your body's in a straight line and your tummy's in tight. Now we tuck that tummy in not for aesthetic reasons. Your tummy's great however you use it. We tuck the tummy in to protect the lower back because the lower back and the tummy are connected. So you can also do a tricep kickback, right? So you just take the, take the weight and go straight back behind you. Breathing as you go, you don't want to hold your breath. And you don't want to grip your weight too tight. All that's going to do is raise your blood pressure. It's not going to make you work any harder. You want to just squeeze and release it back in. You can do upright rows. The cans just come up and down and up and down. You can do pectoral flies. Remember, we must increase our bust. You take the arms out, curve them out to the side, bring them to the center, and out to the side, and back to the center. You can also lift over your head. Now, you want to avoid lifting over your head if you have blood pressure problems, and also be aware if you have rotator cuff issues that you know some of these exercises might not be right for you. You should check with your doctor. But the rest of you can lift straight up and down or back behind your head and up and behind and up. Water bottles work really well. This one is uh, about a pound, 16 ounces. Um, and you can do all of those exercises with this. You can also use heavier water bottles. This is more of a medium sized bottle. Or you can do a bigger bottle like this one. Now you'll notice that this bottle is not completely full. This is another way that you can up the resistance in your training. You can start with a bottle that's relatively empty and each week add a little water. Now, once you're ready to move beyond dumbbells, there are also things around your house you can use as a barbell. For example, this is a detergent bottle. This one is uh, over five quarts, so it's a little bit heavier. It has this great handle on the top, so you can put both hands on it and you can do an upright row this way. Right? You can also use other things around the house, like I have this tote bag here full of books. You can lift the same way with this object. And you can control the weight by how much you put in there. Now, one way to precisely calibrate how much weight is in your barbell or your bag is to use a scale. This is a kitchen scale. You can easily measure a pound or two with this equipment. Just put your book on here, add it to the total, and you know how much you've amped up your resistance for the week. Finally, once you're ready to really move up, you can use this big daddy. This is my suitcase. I happen to know from my travels with the fat chick that you can easily get 50 pounds in here. Be very careful. Don't start with a weight this heavy. Start lighter, add gradually. But you can measure your books or whatever it is you're going to put in your suitcase and add that 10% per week. So if it's 10 pounds this week, 11 pounds next week is okay. 
you've enjoyed watching the show today and have gotten a few ideas about how to use stuff already laying around your house to start exercising right now. Remember, if you enjoyed the show, don't forget to subscribe. Until next week, mwah!